Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be looking at the three new reveals that have come out of the Star Wars Bring Home the Bounty Week 3 announcement. And uh, yeah, pretty exciting, pretty great figures. You know, we just had the Hasbro Pulse Con just last week, so... Hasbro are always going to hold back a few items, specifically for the Bring Home the Bounty campaign, which leads up to pretty much the release of Book of Boba Fett at the end of December. So yeah, there will be some sporadic releases throughout. Um, so yeah, let's kick off with the Black Series reveal. And that is Werner Herzog's The Client. Now this is a fantastic reveal in my opinion. Um, really excited for this figure. It just shows that Hasbro's really just going to go and pick out all the characters from the series and, and we're eventually going to get get them all I think. Um, honestly I think most people thought the client was going to play a bigger part but uh, yeah here he is in black series form. He looks looking fantastic. Um, comes with a Camtono which much needed for the 6 inch black series line in my opinion. Probably should have come with uh, the build-up pack from last year. Uh, he also does come with the tracker, uh, the tracking fob, which also came with Mandalorian, and some Beskar bricks, which we've seen uh, again before with that Mandalorian build-up pack. But very impressive nonetheless. The detailing looks great on this figure. I'm I'm pretty excited for uh, the client. Um, and I'm not sure if I've seen number designation. It might be 8, 19, I think. Um, in the lineup, so yeah, excited to sort of see. It might even be later because there's a little flash of light down in the bottom corner. If you look on the on the side panel of the box, there is a little flash of light. Uh, most speculation at the moment is that Lady Ahsoka Tano will be coming before the end of the year, um, at least as a reveal. Next up, with a couple of vintage collection reveals, we have a Death Watch Mandalorian. This is based on the appearance from the flashbacks from the Mandalorian. Um, looking fantastic. Nice to sort of see these characters getting a little bit as well. I think it's cool. Like, it's literally just a flashback, but it's a Mandalorian and they're going to sell well. And people are going to want two or three of them at least. Um, so can we speculate and say we may get a young Din Djarin at some point? Who knows? You could have some Super Battle Droids coming out, hopefully a re-release of the Super Battle Droid from Attack of the Clones next year. Um, and you can have some droids for the uh, for the Mandalorians to fight the Death Watch here. And uh, yeah, that's looking pretty pretty cool. I'm digging the, uh, digging the blue. I think it looks great. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to Mandalorian, looking forward to seeing it on the uh, vintage card. I think it'll be I think it'll be really really cool this will be a must-have for most people I think and lastly but not leastly for this week's reveals is Ahsoka Tano from the Mandalorian based on Rosario Dawson's likeness and this is a very welcome addition I think it's gonna be a fantastic figure you know the black series ones only just around the corner like I speculated before the side of the clients packaging she's going to be announced before the end of the year there's no doubt about it but Vintage Collection gets the first bite of the cherry, which is fantastic to see. I know the TVC probably deserves a little bit more love that it's been getting over the last couple of years. So it's nice to sort of see them getting getting first bite of the cherry here with uh, Vintage Collection Ahsoka. Notably missing a cloak or a hood, hooded robe. Um, but who knows? This is just the first couple of preliminary images. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Uh, we have been teased with her card back which will more than likely be this version of the retro collection without the sticker and the goofy weathering around the outside so I'd assume we'll be getting the same image based on what we've seen already with retro and vintage collection counterparts particularly in the uh, Mandalorian line so yeah we're, we're gonna see this soaker on this card back I believe um, if it's any different I'll be surprised um, yeah, really looking good. Really, really stoked to sort of see Ahsoka getting those nice, vibrant white blades. I think that's very important for accuracy. Um, yeah, fantastic reveals. So that basically wraps up any Hasbro reveals from week three of Bring Home the Bounty. There are there's some more reveals. You can check them out on StarWars.com. But I'm sticking with the action figures, the, the Hasbro stuff, the Black Series, the Vintage Collection any other sort of Hasbro action figure toys, toy related releases, maybe some Lego, we'll see. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep it all covered here. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please give the video a thumbs up. And uh, yes, yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully next week we'll get some more reveals. That'll be very, very cool. And uh, yeah, we'll count down to the Book of Boba Fett. Thanks for watching, everyone. May the Force be with you always.